sloppy tropical cyclone Mulan making landfall in northern Vietnam. Its appearance isn't the best right now. Mulan is about to make landfall in the very northern reaches of Vietnam, just shy of the border with China, uh, just a few kilometers south of there to be honest, at 21.1 degrees north, 108.1 degrees east. At 5 a.m. Vietnamese time, 6 a.m. China standard time, it had winds of 35 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,000 millibars moving nearly west at 11 miles per hour, 282 degrees. Still producing significant amounts of rainfall from those massive convective tops all around the storm, but not quite those tropical storm force winds. Here it is right now in relation to the map, um, as mentioned, and just about to make landfall where it will continue that west-northwestward motion and possibly curve just a little bit further towards the northwest. Blue Typhoon warnings for most of Hainan and the southern Chinese coast from Dushan to the border with Vietnam and probably warnings along the coast of Vietnam as well although I'm not currently sure what those are. 51 kilometers from Mong Cai which is on the border between Vietnam and China, 113 kilometers from Ha Long, 150 from Haipong, 234 from Hanoi and 682 from Kunming inland in China where it will eventually cross the border again. So then let's take a look at the primary hazards and it's still going to be flash flooding. Uh, the broad nature of the storm uh, means that heavy rainfall may occur uh, you know, at a short notice over a very large area of southern China and northern Vietnam with high rain rates leading to flash flooding in susceptible areas. But also the door is open for general flooding threats as well that will have prolonged impacts over the next few days as this storm and its remnant energy dissipates as it moves inland. Here is the forecast and it's very straightforward. There it is, by Friday it will be untraceable and after that it will be completely dissipated. Having said that, as I mentioned just then, there will be some remnant energy that are going to be, that's going to be staying behind and producing a little bit more rainfall which could complicate things as we enter next week. Let's take a look at the uh, wind speed analysis then. Uh, we're currently with the latest ASCAP pass at 35 miles per hour. JMA still up there at tropical storm strength around 45 miles per hour. And the ATCF and the AMSU currently way below at 25 miles per hour. That's basically the uh, American perspective on what they think the storm strength currently is there. And the JTWC are still yet to issue any advisories. And here's a look at model consensus once again, some spaghetti models here, although it doesn't tell you very much, the storm's track is very much set in stone. Um, although interesting to note that a few, the CMC particularly taking it just a little bit further south than what I think is going to happen as it moves a little bit further northwestwards. Here's a GFS model showing that behind it winds are going to remain fairly light with a few little bursts here and there. It's always a very unsettled time of year down in this area uh, so it's pretty expected that you'll see precipitation and squally conditions at times. There it is again, the storm moving inland. Uh, GFS initializing it as a tropical storm however, it doesn't look like there's much evidence for that at this present time. Let's take a look at the water vapor. Uh, this is of simulated satellite imagery, uh, precipitable water, showing all those green areas where the significant areas of moisture is and as you can see it remains along the coast of Vietnam particularly all the way until 15th or the 16th of August there uh, so it's got quite a bit of time, obviously not as bad as it is initially there on that imagery uh, but the moisture is remaining there for quite some time so humidity will be right up if nothing else as the remnants of the storm linger. Let's take a look at some rainfall totals then and bear in mind I'm not looking at the most up-to-date imagery because this software is broken on me again but I think it was still suggesting 
uh, up towards uh, 8 to 10 inches of rainfall expected still from this storm. That's on top of current accumulations, uh, which we could see accumulations in some isolated areas reaching around 16 inches for a storm total amount. And that is quite a lot, 16 inches if that verifies, that's about 400 millimeters of rain. Uh, certainly half that, 200 millimeters, is expected still from this point forth. Now looking at sea surface temperatures, there's obviously not much to talk about with regards to those, uh, but they're still remaining fairly warm up until landfall. Sea surface temperatures around 28 to 29 degrees, maybe even a shade of 30 in the area in the Gulf of Tonkin, which is where the system is located right now. So impressive sea surface temperatures, but it's pretty much what you would expect this time of year in this part of the basin. So here's a look at the satellite imagery of the storm as it's occurred over the overnight hours. And uh, it's a little bit generous to say that it's looking anything like a tropical cyclone still at this point uh, but it is still showing signs of rotation but they have become quite a bit more um, more difficult to discern lots of cloud tops blowing up over the perceived center of the system which is just off the coast of northernmost vietnam just a few kilometers really from the border with china it'll end up passing just north of ha long and then quite a way north of Hanoi before moving towards the west northwest inland and back over China again. But looking at those uh, cloud tops still blowing up a few areas of 70 degrees noted by the black areas if you can see them or the grey areas there just along the coast of China. Hainan Island not getting very much anymore it's mainly the coast of uh, China there to the west of Hong Kong Macau up to the coast up to the border with Vietnam and then that secondary area which is moving over northern Vietnam right now and probably producing significant amounts of rain there I think I read around 100 millimeters have already fallen so far in parts of Vietnam and I imagine that number is a lot higher in China let's take a look at some other views this is the uh, standard RAM imagery and you can see it once again the uh, system progressing and that cloud those cloud tops just stemming upwards there around the center of the storm which is quite visible there in those last frames i think you'll notice just swirling around there it is quite difficult to distinguish when i can't point or anything on the screen uh, looking at this close-up imagery as well just another variation of the imagery we have at the moment we don't have daylight just yet over the area that will be coming up pretty soon but not in time for this update i'm afraid uh, but once again uh, you can see there just that little gap in between those two significant clouds um, the center will be somewhere within there and it's only just a few kilometers off the shore now and finally a wide shot from the Philippines perspective you can see the Philippine Islands there towards the bottom uh, looking out towards the uh, South China Sea and towards uh, the coast of China you can see just a huge amount of um, cloud tops blowing up it really is a rather monsoonal system when you look at it that way with uh, huge columns of cloud blowing up on the southern side of this cyclone almost like two different entities really the more you look at this um, and that's why it is going to be a significant rainmaker due to its uh, somewhat unusual nature. Uh, certainly not a classic traditional tropical cyclone, uh, but we do get these broad ones quite often at this time of year in this particular part of the Western Pacific. I don't think any more updates will be required on this storm, so that will be it from us. But stay safe because the rain will keep falling and we're expecting quite a lot more yet.